check, 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 check. We just saw Killers of the Flower Moon and it was a fantastic movie. It's based off of a nonfiction book by the same name and tells the story of the Osage Indians in Oklahoma and sort of their discovery of oil on their land and the power grab there was to come after them and the money. The runtime of the movie is about as equivalent of a flight from Boston to Oklahoma, so if you're making that flight, this is a great movie to watch on it and brush up on your history about it. The first things that sort of come to mind about this movie is, in fact, just the story. It feels incredibly passionate. I feel like this is a movie that Martin Scorsese and the others who were involved in the making of it uh, felt pretty strongly about. I can only guess, but I'm going to assume that the Osage community had a hand in the writing of this story just because I I feel like so many of the emotions in it are really harsh and uh, and brutal. And, and this is one of those movies that unfortunately sort of starts sad and then just kind of keeps getting sadder as it goes. But it's a really empowering and very impressive story about sort of an underdogs and a part of history that I had absolutely no idea existed. I sat, it, this is one of those movies where I left the theater just continually thinking about the subject matter, even to now, you know, the whole time in the movie, I was just thinking, I cannot wait to go home and read up about this. And, and frankly, I really would like to read the book now, especially my own personal fascinations with industrial history and the history of oil and uh, the time period that it's set in. Again, it was set in the 1920s. And the tone of this movie is just so fantastic. Uh, the, 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 the feeling throughout the movie is just this unbelievable set sense of fear. Um, both the people in power who are fearful of losing it or of being killed over it, and then the people who have no power and sort of this dog eat dog fear of you know they got to get it while they can so they aren't lost um you know to history or just to time the music was was really really good throughout i thought it was a really creative and interesting use of the music it's pretty subtle the photography is fantastic and then of course the performances are fantastic as you can imagine there's quite a star-studded cast throughout this movie and i think they were all used very adequately in terms of it not being very hey look who's in this movie i think that everybody was casted very well and the story even though it is three and a half hours long it doesn't feel that way you feel pretty invested the whole time through and they keep it interesting enough there's lots of relationships there's lots of power struggles between these major and minor relationships and maybe at the end it felt like it was a little bit ready to go you know that there was a court section of it that i feel like was was important and felt a little bit rushed to me but that's just sort of my first watch throughs approach of it but that was like maybe the last 15 20 minutes of the movie so that was maybe a, a very small piece of time where i was like okay i kind of know how this is going to end we should wrap this up but overall the story is is really cool i mean i say this not trying to sound funny but it it's kind of a story of like more money more problems in terms of i think there's a line even in the movie saying that money pretty much just puts a target on your back as a person and i think this story really illustrates that that feeling and even though we see the uh you know pro pros the financial prosperity of a group of people we see how that was very much their own detriment and and kind of allowed them to be destroyed by enemies and so i i think you know i i'm curious as to how much longer martin scorsese can keep making these movies this one made me feel a little bit like he might be getting to the end of his career and i don't mean that in a bad way i just mean like the dude's 80 uh, and he had a piece at the very end. I don't want to give anything away, but it feels like this was kind of a really a, a story that was important for him to tell. But then also because of the runtime, when you think about how much principal photography was involved in a movie like this, especially a period piece. So there was just so much time, I'm sure, went into filming this and all of those little details had to be go over and produced and reviewed and thought about and written and reshot and rewritten. And I... I don't know. I don't know how long the dude can keep going. He is a, a absolute dynamo of storytelling. And this was one of his more powerful movies, I think, in terms of the story that he had to tell. Um, he is obviously somebody who is very into the story of power and money. And I think this one was one of the more interesting. You know, he, he often tells stories of people who fall from grace. And I think this one was that same story, but in kind of a different way. So I cannot recommend seeing it enough. 
I think it's very good. I don't necessarily know you need to rush out and see it in theaters. I think this is a good streaming movie, especially if you're not into longer movies. Again, it doesn't feel that way. I thought Oppenheimer felt longer than this one. But yeah, I mean, on a zero to 10 scale, I'd have to give this like a solid nine, almost a 10. I I, I don't think I'll be rewatching this movie super soon, but I know after I delve into the content a little bit, like the subject matter and learning about it, I'm sure I'll want to go back and, uh, and watch it. And this is one of those movies for me, like one of my favorites of all time is There Will Be Blood. This had a very similar feeling of it where it's just telling a pretty raw story during a time period that I'm, I'm particularly fascinated with. And so this one resonated with me uh, a lot, you know, just in its tone and in the grittiness of it and the time period and the place and all that. So, so for sure, check it out. Absolutely. Good movie.